How many how many egg sandwiches a day do you make? A lot. Depends on the day, but a lot. I have to say you make the greatest egg sandwiches. Thank you. Make a big egg sandwich too. Well, I don't like to be cheap on the eggs. Some people say it's too much. Okay, scrambled eggs. What time did you get here? I get here around 5.30. The girls open up at 4.30. Early morning people, they have like coffee or bagel. Then we have another second rush around 7, then 8, 9, 10, usually come regular customers. I noticed everyone stayed online, no one left. Yeah, they wait. They're patient. I have to say they've been very patient. It works for us. You get hot donuts, you know. If we make them in the middle of the night, by the time we open up, you wouldn't have that freshness to it. So we prefer to do it this way. The store's been here over 60 years. In the 70s, I'll tell you, it wasn't uh, like you see it now. It was predominantly Polish families, which a lot of them uh, moved uh, moved out. And there's all these hipsters, uh, an influx of uh, hipsters. And, you know, it's uh, it's been good for us. My name is Dimitri Siafakis. I am the son of the owner of Peter Pan Donut Shop. I make it a habit that whenever I see a customer more than twice, I learn their name. I love talking to people. I love people in general. So to me, my job as a manager is basically keeping the regular customers we do have and making an environment where they feel comfortable in. Well, Frankie's here every day. He makes a point to come here and bother me. <laughs> Frankie's shtick is that no matter what I do to perfect his meal, he will never ever admit that it's good, which makes me strive to serve him better. I'll say it now. He makes a very good iced coffee. It's been one of the best. That's why I'm going to That's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something like particular about this place? Because a lot of people have said that it's like very conducive to conversation. Actually, I think it's the structure of the place. If you look around the counters, like if you're stuck next to somebody, eventually you're gonna start talking to them about something. Hi, my name is Sven Johnson. Born in Harlem, New York, and um, grew up in the Midwest and moved back here to Greenpoint about 20 years ago. I wanted to be a commercial artist and this is the place to go to do that. And that's what I do now. I'm, an, I'm a professional illustrator. There's been so much development along the East River and this neighborhood has always kind of been a little bit immune to that or it was slow to change and it's been very traditional. But now that's changing quickly as a lot of new you know, projects are getting built here and a lot more new people are moving to the neighborhood. And it's changing very substantially. And that's one of the reasons why this, this place here is really nice because it's a kind of an anchor to what Greenpoint has been over the years. Sir, have you been in the neighborhood for a long time? Yeah, my, my whole life. You were born in Greenpoint? I was born in here. Um, I'll die here. I'm a second generation. My my uh, grand, grandparents bought, bought a house here and my, my mother was born and raised and died here and uh, I'll be doing the same thing. Mm. Yeah. And how long have you been coming to the coffee shop? Uh, about 20 years. Okay. Yeah. What do you generally order when you come here? And what's coming out? The egg egg whites with lettuce and tomato. Egg, egg whites? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're, are you health conscious? Or? Uh, yeah, well, I go to the health club all the time, but I got a belly that <laughs> disproved that. <laughs> this, this is what I always order. That's why I don't have to say a word. They know what I want. Most of them are regular, steady customers. So they come, we usually know what they want. Sometimes they change their order, but usually it's the same. This gentleman looks familiar in Brazil. Yes, okay. that's Bob. He's been coming here since I started working here. Okay. Yes, every day, single day. And what does he order? Is it food? Usually it's a coffee and a bagel. That's yeah, what kind of bagel? It's very dark, <laughs> like burnt. <laughs> I know a lot of people like orders. It's like I see them and I know like what they like. <laughs> What's beautiful about this place, it's half of the people who grew up here their whole life 
And then the, uh, the other the younger people coming in into the neighborhood. How long have you been in the neighborhood? Since uh, I was born here in 38. 38, okay. <laughs> in the old days, we had six movie theaters. Now we don't even have one in Old Greenpoint. The waterfront was booming, and there was always employment here. I remember as a kid walking up and down, and we used to have a trolley in Greenpoint. It's become very expensive to live here. So a lot of old people, they worried they've been here their whole life, you know, that they were on rent stabilization and everything, and all of a sudden they're worried about having to find a place to live. So even it's, uh, some of the priests in the parishes were telling the people that, uh, you know, you're changing your neighborhood, you, you make it too expensive for the people you grew up together with to live here anymore. I enjoy talking to people, I really do. That's why Donna said she calls me uh, the ambassador. <laughs> I have to talk to everybody. Oh man, um, I really like old timey like cafes and diners, and I think this place really has that layout. I like the counter space. Um, you can like make eye contact with other people who are here. So just being like here, like the energy is really great. There's a lot of hustle bustle back there, um, and obviously with all the donuts, it's like really really beautiful. This is says like a weird little project I just started. Um, I take pictures of like pictures of Leonardo DiCaprio and I just try to like put it in like strange settings or whatever and then doing like normal Instagram type photos of like your food or whatever and then there's like Leonardo DiCaprio like off to the side. At the current time in Greenpoint a lot of the businesses I grew up with are disappearing. The reason why we stand is because I think our customers realize that we appreciate them. We try the best we can with the means we have to give them a great product every day. We take time to learn their names, we take time to talk to them, we take time to learn who they are as people and acknowledge them. I love working here. I, I, I don't consider it work. I, I actually really, really enjoy coming here every day and I don't think I could give it up if I tried, which is probably why I'll end up doing this for a lot of my life.